Right, hello everyone. <coughs> yeah, I've um, I got the new DRO for my uh, Harrison lathe. Had a look online and uh, seen how some people do it. I think the one uh, chap did it um, like that, and with a couple of brackets on the back, and then that went down onto the main one that goes across. Um, the only thing is these are quite tall. So what I'm thinking of doing is taking this all, all the saddle off and just machining. I'm steaming up a little bit. Hang on a minute. It's a bit cold in here. Um, just machining out that little bit there. And that little bit there and then that would put that down level with that it hasn't got to go far it's only got to go to there because of this here all right that's what I'm thinking of doing so I'll think a bit more about it and then come back see you in a bit As you can see, after a little bit of thought, <laughs> very little bit, only a little bit, I've decided to take just that little tiny bit off the edge, which will give me a little bit more room to uh, to lower it down. This shouldn't shouldn't take. This is cast iron, so that shouldn't take much. It don't won't probably need any lube, but I'll get a bit of um, spray wherever it is. Can't remember where I put it. Try it on uh, using a four flute mill. Just going to try it on a slow speed to start with. I'm on um, 280. I can probably go up. I can only go 280 or 600, so it'll have to be 280 for now. See how that works out. I'm just going to take two mil depth cut.
I've got a feeling. I can't remember whether this one. can't come any more this way because that's the bolt hole that holds the locking clamp for the feet on the bedway. No, that should be good. Right, I'll see you in a little while. Right, I'm just coming to the end of the last cut. Bear those edges. Right, there you go. Well, uh, <coughs> I'm wondering actually whether the Go in there actually. Right, here's the fixing that in the centre rather than having it over way over here. If I have it there it'll be over here. If I put it there I'll need a groove for the cable to go through. And uh, you can see that's level now, so I ain't got to worry about the that going across it. And um, we've got full travel. Um, and what I'm going to do is just make up a little bracket there because there's a bolt hole there and there that I can already use. They're already in the in the cross slide, so I can just make up a little plate for that and then bolt it through from underneath, through there, that'll be fine for there. And there's already a couple of bolt holes in the end of the uh, cross slide as well there, which I can make up a plate to uh, come this way, to hold, to hold that. And then the actual reader, what I'll do is I'll, I'll bolt that down to the plate that will go on to the other one because that can go that can bolt to there hold that level and then another plate will go down and bolt to the the x-axis one so there you go I don't got to worry about anything crashing down on there or that getting in the way or reducing the amount of turn I've got over the bed or anything like that so 
There you go. The, uh, well, the other the other idea I did have was to have that in the middle, and then put a groove in here for the cable to go through, and have that down right like that. But I thought if I've got anything coming in on the on the tail stock, the last thing I want to do is be bashing into that. So I, I think. Um, I mean that that could actually bolt directly to the the bottom part of the cross slide. So, but and like I said, I was I was thinking about putting a groove in there for the cable to go in. Well, mind you, I wouldn't need to actually because that that could actually go down. No, it's a bit tight. Probably a bit tight. Oh no, that'd get, that would go down under there. Again, I'll think about that and back with you shortly. Cheers. Right, hello. Oh, that's that one done. What's that, the Y? Uh, y? Yeah, Y axis. Stop. And as that comes to the end, that comes off the thing, so that's perfect. off the thread. Yeah. That's absolutely perfect. Okay. And for the long one, for the uh, x-axis, yeah, which is uh, when you go on the back here so right we'll get measuring up for that one then see you in a bit right welcome back all right there we go it's on now super i just got to drill one more hole in there and put a bolt in there so Right, let's plug it in. There we go. Change to metric. Is that metric or? I can't remember which one's which. There you go. Absolutely wonderful. I tell you, I have noticed with some of these, this is the second lot I've had from China, and occasionally they don't work properly. And what I've noticed during transit, there's a little spring inside this part that holds the head against the glass inside and that spring has a tendency of jumping out so if you ever have one that doesn't work properly take the end off and very carefully slide that off out the end and you'll find the little spring has jumped out of its holder and then you put it back on and fit it back on the glass and it works perfect so that will save you having to worry about sending it back and panicking that it doesn't work but that's two now, the one I had on my mill and this one, both the same, they, um, they both did the same. And how you notice it, it just doesn't, it'll move but not properly. It doesn't move smoothly, it judders and jumps and mucks about, so just something to be aware of. Right, there you go. Thanks for watching, see you later. Cheers.